Hello YouTube, this is Vape Stuff with John. And what we're going to do today is build my favorite coil for the Subtank Mini. It's very close to what you get with the OCC stock coils, and uh, it, it's just great. Uh, I don't have to uh, try very hard at wicking, which I hate doing. I can reproduce it every single time. It doesn't take that long, and um, it works for me. I like vaping 18 to 22 watts, so I'm not blowing huge clouds, but I still get good flavor. Um, and I need to be building over an ohm to do that with the IPV Mini 2 because in spite of its fantastic build quality and uh, incredible buttons, I just love those buttons, it doesn't do step down. So um, that's where I am. I hope uh, this can help some people who may have been struggling. Uh, this is what I do. Um, and before I get started, if anyone's wondering about the drip kit, drip tip, this is from uh, this is a JMK Pico tip, and it's uh, is beautifully made. I love it because it's uh, it's not huge. I don't like big drip tips, uh, and it's f it's got a focused. Um, it doesn't have a huge air hole, so you get nice flavor. Yeah, that's really good. Right now I'm at uh, 21 watts. You can see there. 21 watts. And uh, let's get building. Alright. So we have some 28 gauge canthal. I prefer 2.5 millimeter diameter. So before we get started, I'm not going to torch this canthal. You want it a little springy for this. I'm just going to take it and sort of straighten it out by running it through my fingers. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. And even though we only will need six or so wraps, I'm going to go ahead and wrap twelve. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, now what we're going to do to get the space coil is just put it back on our bit and we're going to maintain as much tension as we can uh, outward on the leads. And we're just going to start pulling them apart little by little. Turn it around so you can get the uh, get the spaces even on both sides. Oops. And we are almost there. Okay, that is about as far or as, as close as I like these wraps. So now, 
all we're going to do after we get these leads a little more workable is uh, pull a few wraps out. So I'm pull out one, two on that side, flip it over. couple on this side. One, two, and what are we up to? One, two, we're up to eight so we can stand to lose one more wrap on each side. So pull out a wrap here. Actually I'm going to take both from this side because I like how that side's looking. Alright, there we go. Get these nice and straight. Looking good. So, before we actually start mounting these, I usually trim the leads to a length that's a little easier to work with. Alright, here's a bit. So, got that on there. Mounting this is very straightforward and um, you can skip the rest of the video if you're comfortable with mounting and wicking but I'll go through it for beginners who may need the help. Alright so now you've got your leads ready to be trapped. Go ahead and get one side in. Spin it around, and now we can get the other side trapped. Make sure those screws are nice and tight. Let's see how we did. Alright, that's looking pretty good. It's a little high. So I'm just going to take this and press down a little. Look at that, right over the air hole. That's looking good to me. And a little lower should help with uh, flavor. Um, with 28 gauge, the twist and tug method on this tank still works really well. Um, it get trapped nicely. Um, the leads can, rather. Okay, let's put her on the mod and see how she fires. Alright, got her in the IPv2 Mini. Now I know I'm setting this for 7.3 watts, but I don't know if it's, it's definitely not going to fire 2.9 volts. Let's see where we're sitting at. 1.1? Alright. So we just gently pulse the coil. Make sure it's glowing nice and evenly from the middle out. Alright. It's moved just a tad, and that's okay. We will put our bit back inside. This thing focuses. And just press the uh, where the leads come in uh, over a tiny bit. That'll help with the uh, preserve the coil spacing we initially had. So there you go. A little push there. Oops. A little push there. And we are even again. Oh, a little crooked. All right. 
right. Not quite perfect, but it's close enough. All right, now we're ready for wicking. Um, get some Japanese cotton. I don't fold it. I don't tear it up. I just use it as is. It works for me, and uh, it's quick. Um, I'm cutting about that much. Wish I had a pair of full scissors here. That yeah, doesn't matter so much on the end. Gently give it a roll. And twist just the tip. Alright, now we're ready to wick. So we just pull it through. It's snug, but not tight. Looking good to me. Pull up the bunny ears. And slide the base of the chimney on. And here's the best part about building this way. You don't need to wick anything spectacular. You just wick it like a K-Fun. Cut it off at the top on both sides. Grab a little screwdriver. Make sure that's nice and fluffy. And gently tuck it down um, by the juice wells. Keep it nice and nice and fluffy. All right, looking good. Grab some juice. And you can see here is the teeny tiny juice channel on this thing. It doesn't need to be any bigger than it is. Just pull in. Right there. You just want to pull in the center so you can see the juice channel. Leave everything else fluffy. Oops. There we can see. Let the juice channel open. Now we can put it together and have a vape. Before I actually start vaping on this fresh build, what I like to do is just take a few uh, dry drags uh, and check for air bubbles. When the air bubbles stop coming up, you're good to go. Alright, so I am going to be uh, giving this a vape at 21 watts on the uh, IPV Mini 2. We're at 1.1 ohms, firing 4.9 volts, so we're not in step down range and everything's going to work as it should. It's good. It's good flavor. It's wicking. I'll chain vape it. It's fantastic. It's a little spitting, so I'll go up to uh, 
22 watts. It's great. It keeps up. Tastes good. Uh, it's got a satisfying amount of vapor for me, and I can do it uh, in public if I tighten it down to the middle setting. Anyways, I hope you guys uh, found this helpful. Um, thanks for watching.